Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to merge two layers in ArcGIS Pro. We'll also concentrate on the attribute table as far as lining up fields that do not match in both data sets. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I have two parcel layers. And what I want to do again is to merge the two layers into one layer and merge the data in the fields for both data sets. So I have parcel number, location address, parcel number, location address, and account number. So as you can see, the parcel number, the field name is slightly different as well as the address here. And this one doesn't have the account number, but I still want to bring it in, even though this data set here, this parcel layer doesn't have it. So I want to show you how to align these fields up and then add something that's not there into one data set. Okay, so here's just a quick visual. I have some parcel data here. This is just some random data and some parcel data here. So up here in the tab, we go to analysis and click on tools and this little search box that says find tools I'm just going to type in merge and select this tool right here merge so we want to enter insert our data sets which is just these two layers parcel 1 and parcel 2 and we could designate an output and I'll just call this merged parcel layer. All right. So the next step is to click on to this edit button. This is field properties. And before we proceed, I want to actually see both uh, my parcel layer one, parcel layer two tables right next to each other. Um, so the next thing we do is click on to this edit button. And what this does, it brings up this field properties window. And here are our two tables, parcel letter one and two. This little number here means that there is a match, but we'll go into that in just a moment. So the first, um, the first field I want to match is parcel number to parcel. Okay, so parcel letter one, we have parcel number. And parcel level uh, layer two is just called parcel. So I can either type in or I can just scroll down, but I'll say parcel. And here is our match. So again, I'll scoot this over here. Parcel layer one, which is right here. Parcel num, that's the field name. It's matching with parcel layer two right here and the parcel field is called parcel so that's our match the next one i want to match is location address to this address one so we'll go back to our parcel layer one and again i could type it oops actually it's called location or you could just see it down below but just showing you just in case you have a bigger data set with more fields so location add address is going to match with address one and there's my match okay and now for we want to add a field because like I said I want to add this account number even though parcel layer one doesn't have it I still want to bring it over um, so we do add an empty field and we'll call this account number. Okay, I'll leave it as a text. That's fine. So with account number, it's going to match here. There's no matches in parcel one, and that's okay because it's going to be a, a new layer. 
All right, so I'll go and say OK to that. Another thing just to be aware of is that we want to make sure that even though the names aren't correct or not matching, we want to make sure that the, the type is correct. So this is going from a text to a text. This is like a 12-digit um, text field here, and this is a 30. So it's not going to cut off if this was like some shorter. So text and text. This address is also text. Yeah, in text. So we just want just something to be aware of, and maybe that's something you might need to change uh, when you import that if there are different and you're having issues with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so it says that the merge is complete. And let's go ahead and open up this new attribute field, uh, table rather. So it looks like we have our parcel number, location address, and then that account um, field. So we have about 1,762 records. Right after that point, we should start getting those account numbers. Yeah. So right here, and here are the account numbers. So our parcel number is lined up as well as our location address. And what I could have done, but I didn't, when I, I could actually remove these extra um, fields here, parcel address one, but keep this account number. Um, yeah, we can just do that real quick just to show you. So let's go ahead and just, I'm just gonna clear out my selection right there, just so it doesn't mess anything up. Um, again, let's go ahead and remove parcel, add just one, but we want to keep that account number. So these are the fields I'm going to bring in. And to keep it simple, I'm just going to say merge parcel layer one. And then we could rerun this. Okay, let's close out of that. Open up this attribute table. And there we go. It's just a little bit cleaner. So again, if I scroll down to the 1,762 record row number here, yeah, you'll see that now it continues on parcel number, address, and then my count number. Okay, so I hope that helps. And oh, just real quick, just to show you visually, there we go, they're both merged into one parcel layer. Okay, guys, so I hope that helped. Um, by all means, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a, uh, a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I encourage you to uh, click that subscribe button because I try to put a video out every week. And if you're already subscribed, I greatly appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.